guys, hope you're all doing well. I've missed you all so much and what a strange couple of months that we've had. I just wonder how you guys have been spending lockdown. I wonder if you've become a baking genius. Have you been getting lost in a book? Or maybe you've been taking photos with your cute pet. Or maybe you've been admiring your pet. Have you been helping your parents around the house? Or maybe you've just been chilling in your pyjamas. Maybe you've been learning your instrument. Oh, maybe you've been exercising. Sunshine! Maybe you haven't been enjoying the sunshine. But I wonder, have you guys been learning how to respect others whilst in lockdown? So today we're going to be looking at respect and valuing difference. And we're going to look at the story called the Roman Centurion. The country that Jesus lived in was not free. It was ruled by the Roman Empire. Rome had soldiers stationed there to make sure the people did as they were told. And quite often these soldiers were not very nice. Now, as we tell this story, I'm going to be putting up place cards and you need to say this out loud when you hear it. So the first one is, oof, whoa, and ow. So you need to say these as I'm telling the story. The soldiers pushed people around. They forced them to carry heavy loads. And sometimes they even beat them. A centurion was a Roman army officer in charge of a hundred soldiers. It's like century, the word we use for a hundred years or a hundred runs in cricket. So why don't we count to a hundred by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred. One day, Jesus was visiting a place called Capernaum, when several religious leaders came to talk with him about a centurion. Okay, let's count to 100 again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You would have thought that the religious leaders were there to complain. After all, Roman soldiers pushed people around. They forced them to carry heavy loads. And sometimes they even beat them. But no, these religious leaders wanted Jesus to help the centurion. Okay, come on, we'll count to 100 again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. He's not like the other Romans, they explained. He respects our people and our beliefs. He even built a place for us to worship God. And now one of his servants is about to die. Why don't you heal him, Jesus? Please. Jesus did what they asked and he went with them to the house. But just before they arrived, the centurion sent some of his friends out to give Jesus a message. I don't deserve to have someone as respected as you to come into my house, the message said. And I'm not worthy to come out and meet you. From what I have heard, Jesus, you have great power and authority. I understand what that's like. I'm in char charge of a hundred men. Let's count to a hundred. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred. I tell them, come, and they come. Yes, sir. I tell them to go, and they go. No questions asked. So I am confident, confident that all you need is to do is to say the word, and my servant will be healed. Jesus was amazed. He turned to the crowd, gathered around him, and said, I know what you think about the Roman soldiers. They push people around. They force people to carry heavy loads. 
and sometimes they even beat you. But this soldier is different. He trusts me. He really does. And I haven't found faith like this, even among our own people. Tell the centurion that his servant will be healed, said Jesus to the messengers. And when they returned to the house, the servant was well, just as Jesus had said. And even though they never met, the respect between the two men hung in the air joined with the cheers of an officer and his 100 grateful soldiers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we've heard our story, let's have a time of reflection. So I want you to pause the video here and I want you to think about and discuss why did the religious leaders want Jesus to help the centurion? And also, what were the similarities and differences between a centurion and Jesus? And lastly, how did they show their respect for one another? So we've learned so much about respect today and I just love that story about Jesus and the centurion. Nobody did respect and showed respect quite like Jesus. And so as we end this session today, I want us to have a time of response. And as we say our closing prayer, I want you to think about the respect that you have for the people in your life who may be different to you. They may be a different age. They may live in a different place. They may have a different religion or different customs and traditions. So let's say a final prayer, a prayer for respect. Heavenly Father, open our eyes to value each person that we meet. Help us to recognise what we have in common and respect what makes us each unique. Amen. Okay guys, so this song is I Am Who You Say I Am. And it might be a new one for you guys, but just listen and, and you'll pick it up.
Thanks, guys. See you next time.